Sometimes the washer bottle freezes and cracks in winter and you may want to replace it. On a Skoda Fabia Mark 1, 99 to 2007. So don't worry, stay tuned and I'll show you how to do that. Here's the jet washer bottle filler spout next to the left front wing which connects along a tube inside the engine bay and out under the front part of the wing to the washer bottle reservoir just behind the front bumper and in front of the wheel arch liner which is where you can get limited access. Behind the liner you can certainly get access to the electrical connections and the pipe work and the pump but as there's quite limited space it's extremely difficult to get the washer bottle out from here and I wouldn't recommend you even try. There's a difficult retaining nut at the very front part of the washer bottle near the front bumper and although you can get your hand on it, putting a ring spanner or even a ratchet ring spanner would be quite hard to do. So in my opinion the best method of taking these out is to take the bumper off, which is what I'm going to do. Taking the bumper off is fairly straightforward. If you haven't done that before, check out my other video on this. I'll leave a link at the end of the video and in the description. Just remember to put something on the floor, like anti Mildred's old rug, and basically take all the T25 screws out. Knock out the pin clips and prise them out. Loosen the two T30 screws at the front. Unhitch the side pieces. Take out the two T30s and then lower the bumper to the ground and detach the electrical connection on the right hand side. And then the two connections on the left. Now we've moved the bumper out of the way we can clearly see the retaining nut at the front. You can also see these connections to the steering pump which I'll cover in a later video. Now back to the water bottle, we need to take off this top nut, the blue top cover just simply pulls off from one side and all the retaining nuts are 10 millimeter. Take out the filter, that simply slips out. The second nut is right down here and you'll need a long extension for that. And I'd recommend putting a bit of blue tack inside the socket so you can lift the nut out once you've taken it off. And as you can see I failed to do that, I just basically forgot. So I'm going to use my trusty retrieval tool just to grip the nut and lift it out. You can use these magnetic ones as well if you want, but the blue tack thing is probably the easiest. Unless you've got exceedingly small hands and arms that is. Once all the nuts off you want to be jiggling free all the threads. Take the bracket off the top one, that comes free and then drops down a little bit. Then you want to put a bowl underneath the tank and take out the pump. You just pull that up and it'll drain the tank. I think some models you might have to turn it 90 degrees. You might also have a level indicator which you'll need to disconnect. Mine's already empty and you want to make sure you clean all this before you put it back. Especially the rubber seal. If you want to make it easy for yourself you can always take out the battery and the battery box, the headlight and the front bumper. But you don't really need to do. It's just a question of jiggling and bending the pipe a little bit.
Here's one way of taking the neck of the bottle out. It's quite difficult to describe, but I found I could take it out by pulling it in front of the edge of the bumper. You'll find a few wires get in the way of the top fixing bracket. Which you have to bend towards the engine for it to come out. And the view from the top. It was at this point that the top of the spout caught on the electrical connection to the headlight and deformed the mouth of the bottle a little bit. So that's just something to watch out for. As the plastic's quite malleable and bendable, I was able to reform it back into shape when I put it back in. And there we have it. As I said, that's one way of getting it out. And here's the second technique to remove the bottle. This is the other way of getting it out, where you move the bottle neck below the bumper and then, then out. And this can be done successfully as well, without taking the bumper off. But if you feel you need to take the bumper off, then do so. Here's the bottle. This is a, I think, this is a two litre bottle. You can actually get a larger one, a five litre bottle. They fitted larger tanks on the models with the headlight washers, which have two pumps and four fixings rather than three. You can of course repair these quite successfully, as I believe they're blow moulded high density polyethylene. So an impregnated metal wire mesh technique would work nicely on these, as well as hot glue sticks, and some specialist epoxies, but none will be as good as fitting a new bottle of course. Here's the part number. Fitting it back in, you've got to put the top bracket in at this angle and then turn it round so the spout's vertical. The connector seems to snag on the cables a bit, so you've got to feed it round and up to stop it snagging. Then you need to clear it of the electrical connection on the back of the headlight and the cable running up the bottom of the battery box. So you just need to feed it past that and then it should go in that quite nicely. It's a question of pushing the bottle underneath the metal bumper which aligns the pipe in the channel. and then reattach the pump. Push that down fully so it's nicely seated. Feed it up to the threaded spigots. Then reattach all the 10 mil nuts and tighten home securely. filter just pushes in
and then the lid and we're done. Just got the bumper to put back on. And then we just got to fill it up with the correct concentration of screen wash. And the jobs are good. Please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.